with more and more people turning to websites such as Airbnb for short-term stays, one West Virginia city is trying to decide whether the practice should be more closely regulated. Josephine Mendez reports in the Herald-Dispatch that Huntington City Council is considering a new ordinance that has drawn mixed reactions already. At issue are zoning laws that say short-term stays aren't allowed in residential areas. Under the proposed ordinance, that would be defined as fewer than 30 days. It also would require owners to get a business license and pay the appropriate taxes, including a 6% hotel or motel tax. Proponents say they want to protect the rights of property owners who don't want commercial traffic near their private homes. And opponents say the strict regulation will strangle the increasingly popular and growing business, which is helping Huntington become more progressive. Websites such as Airbnb allow people to book a room or an entire house online for a night, a week, or more. One property owner who spoke at a city meeting recently say most of their states are short term and they wouldn't be able to operate with a 30 day minimum. Another homeowner said he didn't move into his neighborhood to live next to a hotel. And Betsy, according to Mendez, an Airbnb official says that there were 30 hosts in Huntington as of December 31st. More than half of those are women. And Huntington appears to be one of the first cities in the state to try to address this issue in such a significant way. Although with the growing popularity, it won't be a surprise if others do so soon. Yeah, Fayetteville took on the issue in 2016. An official there says most rentals are in residential areas and the only problems have been related to parking. Fayetteville also requires owners to have a business license and pay hotel motel taxes. Huntington City Council will be looking at the issue in the coming weeks and we'll see what happens.